So um, this is right out of your text, uh, but sampling risk associated with uh, your attribute sampling. You have, as I said, the risk of under-reliance and the risk of over-reliance. The risk of over-reliance will result in an incorrect acceptance, and the risk of under-reliance will result in an incorrect rejection of the population. So um, if, you, if, you're, if you have under-reliance, and that's the risk of assessing control risk too high, your adjusted sample rate of deviation is going to be greater than your tolerable rate of deviation. And so you're going to conclude that that control is not functioning, right? And here, in this case, what that means is you lose efficiency, right? Because you're going to perform these additional substantive procedures that you don't necessarily have to perform. It's because you did not correctly identify your reliance on internal controls. You're going to con conclude that control is not functioning. If, uh, with respect to your risk of over-reliance, assessing control risk too low, it's the opposite. Your adjusted sample rate of deviation is going to be less than or equal to your tolerable rate of deviation, and then you're, gonna con you're going to assess that controls are functioning. Um, and then there's an effectiveness loss, obviously, because you haven't performed sufficient level of, of testing, right, of, proce of substantive procedures. Um, and so it's going to increase the likelihood that you won't detect a material misstatement in the account. Okay. Some of the 